Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Bakiri Box 12 here. Welcome back to another commentary video. As promised, we are going to be opening a candy land and see how long we last. Whether it be the game that decides for us or um, we just we just have had enough. We'll see. Whichever comes first. I can't wait to play in my favorite dungeon of the entire game, the Candyland Hunting Ground. Oh yes, that is the one. Yin Yarn, read the script. <laughs> oh wait. Yin Yarn's audio has been cutting out a bit, so if he turns into a robot... Oh, this guy's typing to me. If he turns into a robot throughout this video, just giving you a little heads up, that will happen. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay. And you know why. Is that the one that goes beep beep boop, boop boop baba baba? <laughs> oh man, you're beep. thinking of the one that goes beep beep boop boop bop beep <laughs> <laughs> beep beep boop boop bop. Beep, God, beep, just beep, looking beep. at this pink makes me realize that I'm, for the next hour I'm gonna be in pain. <laughs> uh, put that on my gravestone. God, I hate this dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unfortunate because it's so good theoretically. Yeah, I mean, you could get really rich just sitting here and getting pix like pixie swords, but oh yeah. Hey, a and I forgot my loot drop. Oh, and, I mean, let's be fair. We're not getting much anyway. Yep, true. Mm -hmm. It is nice seeing the fat bags, though. Oh, there's a there's a gnomish dwarf ready for us to challenge in the boss room. I hope you ordered some takeout. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. <laughs> I didn't, that's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> man, I'm pretty hungry as well. And looking at all this food doesn't help. It's all candy. I don't. I can't tell if it's appetizing or if it's just more of... I feel like I'm on a sugar rush just being in this dungeon. Yeah. I gotta say, I... Certain things I have a sweet tooth with, sweet tooth with, but other things, not so much. Well, Crunch I, candy bar. Crunch? Crunch. That's my man right there. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I, I respect that. I, uh, I love me some crunch. <laughs> um, also, I'm a fan of Kit Kat. Gotta say, it's a classic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kit Kat for sure. Um, and that's really, I mean, it's Snickers I haven't had too often, but I know that's like a, that is a, that is a family friendly favorite. I think it's okay. okay. Well, maybe it's just because of like a bad times. I remember as a kid, I would eat them and the caramel kind of hurt my teeth. But that's because my teeth were horrible when I was a child. Oh, and I hear you. now a little bit because. You know, the past comes back and it haunts you. Yeah, the damage you. can't be fully undone. There are only so many fillings you can get. Yep. God. They were like, they were like, brush your teeth or else your teeth will be, like, they'll be yellow. I yeah. wish they had told me instead, you'll be in intense pain. Yeah. Maybe you should like, have told that... me, also, don't eat candy, don't drink soda, brush twice a day, floss. <laughs> yeah, I, I still don't really floss. I know it's... I know you probably should, I just don't. Oh, it's, yeah, I mean, uh, especially if you have teeth issues, yeah. It's equally yeah. as important. Like, yeah. I floss before I brush my teeth, just because it kind of, I don't know, it, like, gets all of the little stuff out, and then I do a brush to, like, as the final cleanup. It's weird. I used to do it the other way around. Well, I know my brother is never like flossed, and he doesn't have any teeth issues. I, yeah, it it depends. My uncle's like that. He never brushed his teeth whenever he was little. We had to force him to, <laughs> and uh, he doesn't have any problems. But that's you know genetics. What can I say? Yeah. I don't drink soda or eat candy, and I still get cavities if I don't brush my teeth Jeez. every day. So. Why not just enjoy your life I, then if you're about to get them? All I drink <laughs> is water. It's all what? I drink and I'm not safe. Are you serious? Yes. I don't, don't drink, drink like juice. I don't drink anything else. If orange juice is in the fridge, maybe. But it's been Are a you while. Kidding? Yeah. It's been a while. What? How? I you're kidding. <laughs> no. I can't live just drinking water. I would kill myself. <laughs> Enough of the KMS, dude. Oh, you're right. You're milking still... it. You're crossing no, the finish line again. But, like, <laughs> how do you live on a day-to-day -day basis just drinking water? Because when it's... I don't know. It's refreshing, and I, whenever I drink it, sure. I'm like, this is good for the, me, you know? When you, Cleans the me out. The first time you drink it? <laughs> well, when I don't know. I drink a lot of water every day. Like So, like, when you go out to eat, you yep. the bar... 
the waitress yep. is like, what do you want to drink? And you're like, water. I love a glass of water. Yeah, I'm that guy. Yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't it's even... Whatever. I don't even care anymore. It's one of those things when if you don't do it, you kind of forget what you're missing. I can't believe you've never told me this. I Well, we've <laughs> talked about my teeth before. I know, but just water. I couldn't live. <laughs> that like I know I may kill myself jokes, but like <laughs> like it's I remember asking a question to my coworkers one time. I was like, if you had a choice between either I think it was the, that exact line where I was like would you choose either a billion dollars or where you could only where everything you drink afterwards would only taste like water and they were having a hard time deciding wow and meanwhile i'm living that deal yeah without the billion <laughs> dollars like how yeah it minus that little trade off i god i'm so sorry and i know you choose to live that way it's whatever yeah i mean I love smoothies. I mean, I can't have those often because they then cost money. Then you do money. drink something other than water. But, like, that is not common. Like, if I if I go to a smoothie place, I'll get it. That's been, it's been years. But see, you're probably the kind of guy that's going to live to be, like, 99. I'm going to be the guy who lives, like, 45. And then <laughs> you're like, if oh, you well. Keep, if you keep saying you're going to kill yourself, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, that might be earlier. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> In your... What you, I meant to say was... <laughs> what I meant I to love, say was no. Okay, on, on, on a real, like, mm -hmm. be, like being yeah. totally real, None. it's never crossed my mind to actually kill myself. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, I, I'm the kind of guy that lives with, like, a lot of anxiety about, like, oh, God, am I okay or am I dying? So, like, mm -hmm. what, why, what would benefit me of killing myself if my fear is me dying? Yeah, exactly. Um, like... I'm very much like that too, like just very health conscious. Not not afraid of dying per se. I still haven't drank my loot drop, but I self harm is completely out of the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for it, sure. It it bothers me. Like that's actually one of my biggest just pet not pet peeves in the sense that it's like, oh that's irritating, but it actually bothers me whenever thinking about causing or intentionally causing permanent damage to something. Like, not, not even to yourself, but to someone. Like, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be a body part. It could be, like, making a piece of art and then destroying it. Like, that messes with me. Like, thinking of inten intentionally ruining something. It just... Something about it. I don't know if it's because it would bother me whenever... Oh, were you just blinking? Yeah, I accidentally <laughs> stood on the bus. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I gotta well, say, I after I drank that... <laughs> loot drop i've been, i've got two semi full bags so that was pretty sweet um actually you know it did it <laughs> i was my headphones slipped off and i went to go put them back on while standing on the box oh my god Yenya, huh. you legend i should maybe a smart idea would have been to back up and then put the headphones back on but you don't live the in yarn lifestyle oh no i drink water dang it cut. your brow <laughs> does anyone say that anymore you kind of cut out again. That was weird, but I got the Buster Brown part. Was it? Wait, I think that was it. Oh, that was all? Okay. Yeah, I just said, oh, I just said, you listen here, Buster Brown. And then I said, does anyone actually say that anymore? No. Uh, anymore? Probably not. I have heard it before, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. My my old social studies teacher used to say, oh, fudge sickles, because she couldn't say the F word in class. <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. I used to crack up whenever she'd say fudgesicles, and she'd be like, you have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That was uh, middle school? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, whenever they called it social studies and not history. That still irks me. <laughs> it rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> Make up your mind. Yeah, that always confused me, too. It's a study what, of people? society, the history oh, yeah. of society, but yeah, why did they change it later then? It's like, pick one. Stupid. I don't know. I think the only thing more stupid is the amount of projects they would give you in social studies. Oh, dang. I don't remember how much we had. It was always a ton. In, in social studies, it was always like 30,000. They'd stack <laughs> it on top of each other, I promise. 
they'd be like, here, color the map. And then, you know, it's like 30,000 shaved colored pencils later, you'd have like an eighth of the map done. This is worth 200% of your grade. It, I hated it. Like, <laughs> that's why I sucked in school. I would be like, this is pointless. And then I'd get uh, it out. You're one of those kids, yep. Because it's stupid. You see, I was trained like a soldier in school. I loved, I, well, I wasn't like a teacher's pet or anything, but I, I was more like afraid of doing the, of failing, of like messing up. Deep, oh, yeah, deep, for sure. Deep rooted I... psychological issues, but I was, I was like desperately wanted to do the right thing and it gave me like that satisfaction of approval from my teachers. So I didn't need a satisfaction. If the teacher hated me, I was like, all right. I've become more like that as I've gotten older, sort of become a little more independent about what I, like, this is dumb. I, I, yeah. I do that all the time in my classes now. But before, I would never, I just, you know, I would shut up and do my work. I just, I couldn't do it, because I was like, this is so pointless. I'm never going to use this, and I still have, you know? Well, like, yeah, it's a little different. In, in Now that I'm in college, it's like I, I sort of make my own path. Like, I know yeah. I know what I need and what I can skip. Like, this isn't going to help me. But in high school, yeah. it's like, that's general education. Like, I got to get it either way. I don't really have a say in it, so I'm just going to do it. But it's like, I, I mean, that makes sense just for sake of, like, getting by. Yeah. But it's like, uh, like, I still knew, even when I was younger, I was like, this is so pointless. Yeah, no, definitely not. I always assumed math was just a way of problem solving learning how to use information to your advantage and find a solution. And that was what they were training you for. That concept yeah. of acquiring the, the info and then using it properly. Not necessarily that info that you use won't be useful in the real world, but that concept of overcoming a, a challenge will be. Yeah, for me it was just like, I guess less is more. Like if I don't, if I don't, if I can just like get stray away from school and actually focus on what I'm actually going to be in the future, I'll do better. I'm not the kind of guy that's like, this is the way you have to do it. And if it's not this way, you're stupid. It's more oh, yeah. like a, it's like, a, Hey, this is the way I like to do it. Could you please stop telling me how I should do it? Yeah. You know, there's, there's a little bit of balance in there because you have to learn how to listen to people. Well, yeah, but at the I same just, time, so, you want to know how to critically think on your own. That's, but that's, sometimes people are idiots and don't know what they're talking about. Well, so you have to kind of. I mean, I'll listen, and if depends. it makes sense, I'll be like, "That makes sense." But if not, yeah. But when I'm a kid, though, when I was a lot younger, I didn't really know. Well, yeah, you know, now I, mean, I could make fair. that judgment call. I just kind of have to, you can't just kind of have to trust the teacher when you're in high school or middle school mainly because it's... Where yeah, are you? What do you know? Oh, I'm at the boss, sorry. Oh boy, I can't wait to get my SB that's non-existent now. Well, <laughs> can, I'm just kidding, you're good. You can attack the entire boss and never get anything. That's true. Yeah, it's really dumb. Oh, I smell food. Someone's cooking dinner. I am. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm just cooking some stuff downstairs. Oh sweet, what is that? Like a key lime pot? No, 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 no. I, don't even know. <laughs> Actually, I, I love key lime. I don't even know what that smells like, to be honest. Oh, God. The fairy crew is here. Is. <laughs> What's up, fellas? <laughs> I wish you could jump on these marshmallows. But then again, you can't jump. Yeah, it's like Zelda. Yeah, it's top down. Well, not even. I mean, like, even an ocarina. Well, you could jump, but you yeah, had to, like... It's automatic. Yeah, it's automatic. You, you just, can't just be like, I want to jump now and then jump. Yeah, you hold forward and then it automatically jumps around edges. Yeah. Except in Breath of the Wild, can you jump? Uh, I think. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've never played Breath of the Wild. Oh, I thought you had it. I do. Uh, is it your it's brother's? Just my, yeah, my brother's come over. Okay, got it. I was going to say, that seems, they've, seems like you're not really getting your money's worth, but... No, 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 yeah, it's, it was specifically for my brothers. Got it, cool. Like, it looks like a good game. I just, it's not my style. I live in the past really hard. <laughs> yes. Literally, I play just like A Link to the Past in Ocarina. Yeah. I understand. But, like, 
Change is good. Hey, look, Rivnik spawned. Oh, sweet. Uh, <laughs> every time I see the Mega Rototo, all I can think of is Riv now. Yeah, me too. I don't know if I hate it or... Or if I love it, <laughs> yeah. It's more of a love-hate. I, I just... He opens his mouth as much as Riv does. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I hear his screams. I'm mad. I, I can't believe that my Candyland guide has over 100,000 views. I can. It's pretty hard to understand this dungeon. <laughs> to be fair, you have to have a pretty high attention span. <laughs> to be here for more than 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. We've been recording for 25, so... I hate this dungeon. <laughs> I really hate this dungeon. It's like, it should be good, because it's unlimited loot, but like... Hang on, it, it annoys me when I'm here for so long. <laughs> yeah, well... It's any dungeon that you're in for more than 10 minutes is immediately grating. We did sewers. Like, 50 of them. They were different sewers, though, you know? And we did. Sure. We were, like, really tired after that. And we kind of went insane. I said I'd buy more, but you were tired. Oh, I guess that was a one-sided argument then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I was like, let's you. do 50 more. <laughs> They're 50 goals. <laughs> They're 50 gold tower. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, the prodigal son has returned. Alright, I should <sighs> have stacked maybe a little bit. Yeah, oh. I'm trying to stack a bit too. That's why I'm killing Unicorn, bro. But, you know, it's random. Yep, just like shinies. Yeah, just like a lot. No. Just ask people in the video that when this one releases, ask how many of them actually shiny hunt in Pokemon. I'll love them. Well, you just asked yep. them yourself. <laughs> Oh yeah, anyone who's watching, <laughs> how many of you are currently shiny hunting? Because I'm trying to find a shiny Zerkatry in Pokemon Ultra Moon. Now at now released. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a boss. I see. Yeah, some guy commented saying that he ha he just got the game. Oh really? Yeah. Oh oh right. I forgot I mentioned that in my other video. Or you not mine, <laughs> yours. In the, in the video Dang. we made. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't hit him. Oh, thanks for taking all the SP. I didn't get a single hit on that. Well, all I got was a purple bag, so. Thank you, Pikiri Box 12, for waiting. Yeah, no problem. Weren't you over there? I was, but I couldn't hit him because he kept stunning me. Poor guy. I bet you that would have been a pixie sword. Thank you, Tower. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, That's I, what I, I do. I don't. <laughs> actually, I don't even know if he drops pixie sword. I don't remember. They all drop something specific. I think. They all drop candy the... coated, but. It's garbage. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's got I'm a just thousand. Feet. It's actually not that bad. Yeah. I just don't use it because I, I I'm like a sucker for getting DPS. Yeah, I mean it doesn't really change much, but my philosophy is still if you can kill the boss faster, it's less dangerous. Yeah. It all plays a part. Yeah. People say a great offense is, or a good defense is a great offense. Some people say a good offense is a great defense. I don't know which to believe. They're both just inverses of one another. They're both the same principle. Yeah. It's kind of like how, how the phrase, some people never change, and people change. <laughs> <laughs> Those are both life lessons and phrases completely contradict each other. In other Which words, right. in other words, expect the unexpected. Anything can happen. Yeah. Depends on a person. Yeah, exactly. There's always an exception to the rule. Yeah. That really is the best rule that you can remember. There's always an exception. Exactly. Yeah. So. Or the I... golden rule: just treat people how you would want to be treated. Yes. Is there an uh, exception to that rule? No, not for me. Are you kidding? Yeah. I make fun of people all the time. Oh, yeah, Giggle it or Gigacorn. Giggle it? Giggle it. I was thinking of a Pokemon. Once again, my mind is still on Pokemon. Oh, yeah, you're grinding like crazy. Soft resetting is not a joke. Oh, yeah. You could sit there for days and build up blood clots. Oh, my God. <laughs> And then people say video games are a waste of time, which I don't believe because, like, yeah, I mean, it's like reading if, a book. If you don't like it, it's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. Like, here's my thing, right? People will be like, wow, 
And, and I'm sure I, even I've gotten this a couple of times where I've had to tell myself, wait, that's stupid. Cause I'm like, well, I've wasted all this time playing the video game. Like, what have I accomplished? And I'm like, wait, I had fun doing it. <laughs> yeah. You, had you a know, good time. you're having fun. You're having a good time. It's not a waste of time yeah. if you're enjoying it. It's a yourself. form of entertainment. Yeah. Just balance is the key. Yeah. Like anything, you don't want to overdo it. Yeah, but it's still like it's never a waste of time. You're still enjoying yourself. Yeah. It's you know? it's a different form of entertainment cuz you are essentially in control. Yeah. Some people do nothing but just watch movies. Yeah. And they're like some people can be critics just off of doing that. Everything like has a special like talent you can have in that district. Mhm. Mm Ooh, 47 minutes. Already. We'll make it to an hour and then it's over. Or, All right, or, sounds good to me. Well, you know what? Mm, yeah, we'll see. Oh, realm's closed, but we are in... Oh, yeah, we are in a realm. Yeah, we found the peak cave really fast. It yeah. felt like we weren't even in one. Yeah, really just until we get bored and run out of improvisational material. Yeah. When that starts happening, I'll know when to call it quits. Specifically in the hour mark. Please? <laughs> Just 12 more minutes, Yin. Let's kill Rivnik. Yeah, it's about time. Whenever he comes to LA, oh, he's he'll never see what hit him. I remember back when Paladin was the weakest melee class in the game. Yeah, me too. And it was like a, it was a hipster thing to say that it was your favorite melee. Yeah. Now it's like, wow, you have a Paladin? Everyone does. Yeah, who doesn't? Yeah. Get, get jacked, nerd. Which is weird, because what's really changed? Well, I, I obviously the Paladin had Pets. the update. No, no, no. Even after pets, Knight was broken because of his mana regen now and health. Well, they give the you Paladin could... the buff, the Wiz buff. Yeah, that was what really changed it. But I feel like even then, Knight was still the most played. Maybe it just took a while for it to set it in. It still is. Oh, yeah? Are you kidding? Knight is still like the, high, like the most played melee for sure. Yeah, I guess you're right. And hopefully this video doesn't get made not suitable for advertisers oh it will god what a horrible system youtube has right now and you know yeah it's horrible the unfortunate thing is youtube just released a change that we are we're updating our monetization system because um people have been getting that yellow dollar sign and not getting advertiser friendly so now we're going to hopefully fix all that since that update the last five videos I've had have been not suitable. <laughs> All three Mega Man parts, our our uh, cemetery video, and the Crawling Depths one all had it at one point or another. Like, YouTube always tries to fix stuff that doesn't need fixing. Like, is your is your algorithm not learning? I thought that that was the point of sending a review. Like, once you have them review your video and they're like, oh, sorry, we messed up, that then the mathematical equation that they use would learn from that. Like, okay, this content is okay. But no. No, dude, every time YouTube tries to fix something, it breaks itself even more. God. What? Like, let's try to fix the monetization why? system. Why do oh, advertisers... Well, no, sucks. I, I get the idea of not wanting to affiliate your ads with something that is, like, controversial or whatever, but from the perspective of a viewer, I don't associate the ads with the video I'm watching. I don't even like watch them i let them play like mute it or like skip it or open a different tab while it's going on or something i don't yeah. i don't associate what i'm watching with what ads come up like so i don't understand why advertisers would feel this need and there's not even that much on youtube that could like give them a bad rap especially in my case like gaming videos are you mad what's controversial about that or not suitable there's plenty of gaming commercials I don't know. YouTube, once again, tries to fix something that's broken. It's, it's like this with every... Like, I remember back in actual, like, 2008, back when the YouTube layout was way different. Oh, yeah. And it changed, and people were like, this sucks. And they were like, yep. no. <laughs> and now we're... You couldn't... Um, There was no them. monetization back then, right? I don't think so. That was That's a fairly new thing, isn't it? Or I guess not fairly new, but... It was more, like, secretive back then, for sure. Because it was... I remember YouTube was just this thing. It was about getting popular. You didn't care about the money. 
Yeah. You wanted that viral video to get millions of views. Oh yeah, then YouTube would have gotten tons of traction. It was a simpler time. Like, it, I don't know. Like, they always try to fix stuff. Once again, for the third time, it's yeah. not broken, and I hate them for it. I, I, yeah, uh, and I don't want like, YouTube to go under. Like, oh my god, no, if neither. YouTube fails, like, my dream is gone. Unless something else pops up. Introducing YouTube heroes. <laughs> I think they, like, didn't even implement that because they realized their mistake. Because they realized it was horrible, yeah. Yeah. Because people said, hey, this is garbage. Hey, it has 99% dislikes. I think people Maybe are. Maybe we're doing something right. People are. <laughs> oh, I'm, they must be u using reverse psychology on us. They want us to make it. <laughs> those tricksters. <laughs> oh, those goofy kids. <sighs> yeah, it scares me, man. Because whenever, obviously, I don't do this channel for the money. But if I don't get paid, I can't prioritize it. Because I'm gonna have to get a real job. Oh, yeah. You know. That was my whole thing too. Yeah, like I mean, you have a you have a regular job because YouTube's not gonna cut it. But yeah. if YouTube could cut it, you would be doing oh, it way more. Oh, if it had cut it, and you would love for sure. it. Sure, I probably would have many more videos on my channel. Yeah, you would. You might even be. Oh, uh, TP. I even said to myself, I said, if this makes enough money, I'll, I'll quit my job. And I'll just focus on making videos, but it didn't, so I didn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And even in my case, it's not enough. Like, I'll be realistic, yeah. maybe a part-time job if my other job pays better whenever I get one. But, no. And whenever, so whenever YouTube pulls stuff like this, like, sorry, it's unmonetized now because our robot that's going around talking, checking videos is completely trash, it really messes me up. Because that, you know, eight hours or so, whenever it's I'm requesting the review, it's like that could be potential. That could be a really high-paying eight hours. Yeah, that's when you gain all of your views. Yeah, the first eight hours. Yeah, one time, one of the Mega Man parts, I upload or I didn't even upload it. I processed it, and then I I checked it. It was still I had not I hadn't published it yet. Already had the yellow triangle on it. Video's not even up yet. It's already not suitable. How do you know? How do you check that? How do you already flag a video like that? It seemed totally fine in 2012. Didn't need to change. Didn't need to change. Ever since then, animators have been completely destroyed by the new algorithm. Yep. Because yep. short videos that take a while just aren't going to cut it. Oh. I'm crashing. You're still... Oh, wait, no, yeah, you disappeared. I disappeared. All right. Well... See ya. Yeah, really. I mean, that's it. That's the end. Hey, Stewart's keys are only 50 gold. Oh, how about that? <laughs> Let's make a video. <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe when we've looped. You have all those tomb keys, though. Yep. I'm just going to go pop them all open so we can't make a video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no... I do kind of want to get a better, uh, well, actually, maybe I don't need to. I was going to say I want to make my rogue better before we do that, but I could just use a knight if you're going to use, like, a range class. I mean, I could bring the rogue. Yeah. All righty, we're going to call it a day there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever we post it, which will probably be soon. All right? See ya.